Hey everyone, Jared Huseman here. So this blog entry, we're going to talk about how you take your first step when looking at a commercial uh, real estate investment, commercial deal uh, of any kind. And the first step in any transaction, this could be, should be done residentially, commercially, however way you want to do it, the first step in any investment, any type of deal, specifically commercial real estate, should be to develop your exit. You should always develop your exit strategy. What this means is you need to answer the question of why. Why are you buying this particular piece of real estate, this commercial building, this investment house? Whatever it may be, you need to ask why. What is the end game to invest in? So, for example, let's say we're looking at a house for basic numbers that works for commercial as well as houses. If you're going to buy a house, and you are going to hold it and rent it out. That is your plan. That is your exit strategy. Now, as the question becomes, do you want to hold that house for 20 years, 30 years until the mortgage is paid off? Is that your exit strategy to hold for a lifetime and to make the income off of it for retirement? Is it your plan to gift it to your kids when you pass away? Is that your exit strategy? Is your plan to flip it? That's another exit strategy. Do you maybe want to hold the property for five years and then sell it and roll into a duplex? There are many forms of strategies and, ex and exit strategies for any given investment, commercial deal, residential deal, whatever it may be, business even, you always need to start and begin with the exit strategy. Now, the exit strategy for a particular investment, investment should always tie into your overall personal philosophy of why you are investing, why you are in the business you're in, and what your overall strategy is. For example, my strategy may be to have X amount of income by a certain age so that I can retire, live the lifestyle I want, travel the world, whatever it may be. Now, I understand I need X amount of properties, creating Y amount of cash flow to have Z. So, you need to understand what your point is. Do you want to have 10 houses, let's just say, free and clear, make about eight, ten thousand 10000 a month cash flow, live off that, that's great, and then maybe give to your kids. Maybe you want to have, you know, eight, ten commercial buildings and you have ten, you know, ten, twenty million worth of real estate. I don't know. You need to figure out your own strategy. And then whenever you are looking at investing in commercial real estate or any kind of investment or even a business, how does that exit strategy tie into your overall business strategy of what you're doing? So always begin, first off, looking internally at yourself and what's your exit, what's your plan, why are you doing what you're doing? to get where you want to go, and then how do you fit those smaller pieces, like an investment in commercial real estate or in a house or anything like that or a business, how does that fit and plan in the overall picture? So this is really where you begin becoming an investor. It's the first step is you need to figure out why. Why are you doing this? And then also why does each investment tie into what you're doing on the larger scale? Always keep those few things in mind and uh, you'll be well on your way to doing commercial real estate commercial invest, uh, real estate investing, development, building a business, whatever it is, start those steps and you'll be on your way guys. So hopefully this helps some of you get a little idea of uh, how to start, how to get into real estate a little bit and what to think about when looking at investments, particularly commercial investments. Of course, it can get a little scary time, some big numbers involved there, you know, millions and tens of millions and hundreds of millions of dollars. But as long as you begin with that why, why you're doing it, go back to the basic questions you'll be fine. So again, hopefully this helps guys. As always, ask me any questions you might have. Uh, stay tuned, take care until next time, and have a great day.